Hello and a very warm welcome to our YouTube channel Corrosion Control and Inspections. We will be sharing informative videos on various corrosion and its preventive measures, non-destructive as well as destructive inspections, welding, metallurgy, coating selections and paintings as well as asset integrity assessments related topics. Your valuable feedback will be important for us. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Press bell icon to keep yourself notified about upcoming videos. In this video we will discuss a detailed review on what is non-destructive testing. What is meant by non-destructive testing? Which are non-destructive testing methods? Why do we use non-destructive testing? How do we select a specific non-destructive testing technique? What are the most commonly existing types of non-destructive testing? How modern technology drones are useful in terms of non-destructive testing? Non-destructive testing NDT, refers to an array of inspection techniques that allow inspectors to collect data about an asset or its component under consideration without damaging it. This testing also refers to applications of various inspection methods, inspection tools being used, even the entire field of non-destructive inspections. The goal of non-destructive testing is to ensure that critical infrastructure is properly maintained in order to avoid catastrophic accidents. It is also used to collect information about a material in ways that do not alter it or without being destroying it. When it comes to practically applying the non-destructive testing, it is defined as a process of inspecting, testing, or evaluating materials, components or assemblies for any sort of discontinuities or differences in characteristics without destroying the serviceability of the part or system. In other words, when the inspection or test is completed the part can still be used. The terms non-destructive examination, NDE, non-destructive inspection, NDI, and non-destructive evaluation, NDE, are also commonly used to describe this technology. Since there are so many types of non-destructive tests, these tests could be used in several industries requiring particular kinds of requirements to comply with industry or company-specific regulations. For instance, the American Petroleum Institute lays out non-destructive testing codes and standards for oil and gas companies. These NDAs could be used in various industries including oil and gas, power generation, chemical product or processing plants, mining industries, aerospace units, waste management, automotive industries, maritime and mining industries. NDT techniques can be used for all kinds of inspections. But some of the most important types of NDT inspections are of assets like boilers and pressure vessels, which could be incredibly dangerous if not properly maintained. Various organizations in the world for creating NDT standards and codes are API, American Petroleum Institute, ASME, American Society for Mechanical Engineers, ASTM, American Society for Testing and Materials, ASNT, American Society for Non-Destructive Testing, COFREND, French Committee for Non-Destructive Testing Studies, CSA Group, Canadian Standards Association, CGSB, Canadian General Standards Board. Conventional methods are techniques that have matured over the course of decades and in this time, have become well documented in codes, standards, and best practices. The setup and procedure of a conventional technique is typically simpler in comparison to advanced methods. Advanced methods tend to be less understood as they progress as emerging technologies, they are uncertain advantages or limitations, lack of technician qualification criteria, or little to no industry codification. 
Generally, the setup, procedure, and data interpretation of advanced methods is more complicated and can require specialized understanding and experience from a properly trained technician. When planning a specific NDT testing one should take into account a number of factors such as requirements regarding reliable and safe operation, quality assurance level achieved, characteristics of welding processes, feasibility of NDT methods available, economic criteria. Some of the most popular NDT methods includes, visual NDT, VT, ultrasonic NDT, UT, radiography NDT, RT, eddy current NDT, ET, magnetic particle NDT, MT, acoustic emission NDT, A, dye penetrant NDT, PT, leak testing, LT. In the last several years drones equipped with cameras have become another tool commonly used in NDT for collecting visual data. Due to limitations in the technology, for some time drones could only provide supplementary visual data for inspectors, but could not take the place of inspectors physically collecting visual data themselves. Advances in drone technology, payload diversity, and data processing are creating a new era of efficiency for NDT and safety for inspectors. Thanks for visiting our channel. We will be continually sharing informative videos on various corrosion control measures, quality assurance and quality control as well as asset integrity related topics. Your valuable feedback will be important for us. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Press bell icon to keep yourself notified about upcoming videos.